India's first indigenous anti-radiation missile, Rudram, developed for the Indian Air Force, was successfully flight tested, on Friday. Now, why anti-radiation missile, Rudram matters? And, how significant are such missiles in aerial warfare? These missiles, are designed to detect, track and neutralize the adversary's radar, communication assets, and other radio frequency sources which are generally, part of their air defense systems. Such a missile's navigation mechanism, comprises an inertial navigation system, a computerized mechanism, that uses changes in the object's own position. Coupled with GPS, which is satellite-based. These can locate, and target any radiation-emitting source. It can play a key role, in neutralizing any jamming platforms of the enemy or take out radar stations thereby, clearing a path for own fighters to carry out an offensive, and also prevent own systems from being jammed. For guidance, it has a passive homing head. A system that can detect, classify, and engage targets. That is, radio frequency sources, over a wide band of frequencies, as programmed. It is capable of striking accurately even if the radiation source switches off, in between. The missile has an operational range of, more than 100 kilometers, based on the launch parameters, from the fighter jet. How was Rudram developed? It is an air-to-surface missile, designed, and developed by the DRDO. Development had begun, by April 2012, at Defense Research and Development Laboratory. The project was officially approved in December 2012. And its integration, with fighter jets has been a collaborative effort of, various DRDO, facilities. And formations of the Indian Air Force, and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. While the system has been tested, from a Sukhoi 30 MKI. It can be adapted for launch, from other fighter jets, too. The missile has a capability, of varying ranges, based on the launch conditions. It can be launched, from altitudes of 500 meters, to 15 kilometers, and speeds of, 0.6, to Mach 2. That is, twice the speed of sound. Significance. Rudram has been developed, for the Indian Air Force. IAF's requirement, to enhance its suppression of enemy air defense, capability. Anti-radiation missiles are used, mainly in the initial part of air conflict, to strike at the air defense assets, of the enemy. And also in later parts, leading to higher survivability, to a country's own aircraft. Further, modern day warfare is more and more network-centric. Which means it comprises elaborate detection, surveillance, and communication systems. That are integrated with the weapons systems. This is yet, another test of indigenously developed weapon systems. In addition to the recent tests, of Shaurya missile, or hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle. Which is an unmanned, scramjet vehicle. Or the test of flight test, of a supersonic missile, assisted release of torpedo, smart system. What next for Rudram? Rudram hit the radiation target, with pinpoint accuracy. After this test, some more flights would take place, before the system is ready for induction. For future development, DRDO, is planning to bring software improvements, to handle a larger variety of targets, under various operational conditions. While developing a separate ground-based variant, to be launched from mobile launcher.